Hello, darlings. Welcome to another episode of Look What Meg Found. I am bouncing off the walls a little bit today. I am highly over-caffeinated, but it's a happy place for me. You guys know I love my coffee. I am a coffee addict. I am not even ashamed to say that out loud. I adore coffee. Coffee makes the world go round, and coffee makes me a happy person, so I'm okay with that. Today, I have a coffee company for you, which is why I'm bouncing off the walls, because what good would it do to tell you how amazing this coffee is if I haven't tried it all? And when I say all, I haven't actually tried it all. I have tried three different blends, and they are really good. They are really, really good. So let me tell you about them. It is Red Beard's Coffee Company. They are a small independent roaster. I adore their coffee. And also what I really like about them is they have a huge focus on giving back to the community in which they are supported by. So a portion of their proceeds every month, and it is a sliding scale of that, you have to check back on the first of every month and see who their new person is that they're supporting. They get a portion of the proceeds. So not only are they fueling the coffee addicts of the world like me, they are giving back to the community. And you guys know that is a platform that I can get on to jump on with both feet and love more than anything because small businesses are the largest supporters of the community in which they are located. Let's be honest about that. You don't go to Amazon and ask them to sponsor your sports team. You go to the local business and ask them. And they're almost always willing to find a way to make it work. So finding a company that is willing to give back is just mind blowing and fun. And I'll throw every bit of power I've got behind supporting them so that they can continue to do the work that they do. But now let's talk about coffee because that is why we're here, right? Now I'm going to warn you guys, I may very well butcher these names because these are very strong Viking names and my little coastal beach bum butt may not pronounce them correctly. So if I butcher these, please forgive me. But the coffee in these bags is phenomenal. They are a whole bean roaster. So your coffee comes whole bean. I love a good cup of fresh ground coffee because you get a whole totally new experience when you cook the coffee beans, you release all of the oil and everything right then and brew it immediately. So we're going to start with, we're going to go from light to dark on this. And I'm going to give you guys a heads up. I am a dark roast drinker. I like my coffee as black as my soul. So I always tend to gravitate towards the darker roasts for the flavor and the profile and I always keep lighter roasts on hand because the lighter the roast, the more. From what I know about coffee, I am not a professional coffee reviewer, whatever that, I know there's a word for it. I am not one of those. I am a self-proclaimed coffee addict who has drank entirely too much coffee on the search for the perfect cup. So this is their Bajorn Ironside. It is a light medium roast. This is their packaging. These are their trial size packages. So you can actually try all the blends you want to try until you find the one that is made for you. This is a light to medium roast. It does have, if you really get into sipping it when it's black, it's got a really good fit with flavor profile. And while it's got that bite that you expect from a cup of coffee, it's not bitter. There's no bitterness when you drink it black, which honestly, I've had about a million cups of coffee that are ruined by that bitter aftertaste. This doesn't have it. None of their blends do that I've tried. But this is a peel me off the ceiling after I have drank the entire pot level of caffeine, which I adore. I drank coffee A for the flavor B so I can function and put the words together in the right orders to be able to bring you things like these. Here's a little secret that everybody already knows. It's not really a secret. Look what Meg found is definitely fueled by caffeine. The second one I tried is their Half Dan the Black. This is a dark er roast, which of course, I just said I love dark roasts, but this is a darker roast. It's got a really deep flavor. And I know that's not helpful to you guys, but it, when you drink it black, 
you get a lot of different hits on your palate. It's a very comforting cup of coffee. You brew this pot of coffee and you feel like everything is going to be okay. It is literally like being wrapped up in a hug in your cup of coffee, which come on guys, a hug in a mug is a phrase we hear all the time. It is truly something that is going to just make you feel happy because you got to drink a cup of coffee and it helps kind of punch through the bad days. Yes, I keep coffee around based on my days having, because sometimes you just need that thing that's going to make you happy. Make sure I don't drop that. This is a precious cup of coffee. This is the last of my Bajoran Ironside. And I love it. All right. This is the one I'm going to mess up. Okay. This is the name I'm going to mess up. I have Googled it and it was no help on how to actually pronounce this. So we're going to go with the Frida's Eric's daughter. I don't know if I killed that. Redbeard's Coffee Company. Feel free to let me know if I did. This is a medium to dark roast. I did these in the wrong order. It's okay. This is a very solid get you going, keep you going all day cup of coffee. Now I drink my coffee in ridiculously high quantities. I can tell you, I cannot drink that coffee and then go directly to bed because it has just enough caffeine in it to keep my motor running and going. But what I will tell you about this coffee, now that you've seen all the packages, you've heard my little blurbs about each one is that it is all incredibly high quality. There is none of that bitter aftertaste that makes your mouth pucker up and go, Ugh, I didn't like that one, but you just add some coffee and milk to those and drink it anyway. The coffee and milk, Lord y'all sugar and milk to those. So and drink them anyway, but they've got a really good flavor. They are a whole bean roaster. So you do need a coffee grinder. I don't have the world's greatest coffee grinder. I have a little $10 special from Walmart and it did a fabulous job. They grind really easy. They grind really well. You don't get a lot of like, for lack of a better word, sludge on the inside of your coffee grinder. They grind very clean. It all dumps out into your filter so you can brew coffee or your French press or your pour over or whatever your preferred method of getting caffeine in your system is. But it is a very high quality blend. It is at a price point that is on par, if not less than some of the larger coffee producers that do not produce as good of a quality cup. So here's the deal. You need to go check out Redbeard's Coffee Company. You need to order yourself coffee, depending on what scale of dark roast you like, get it. They have got the coffee for you. I have tried three. I'm going to be ordering more because I want to try them all. I really want to get like one bag of every single blend and try them all. And as I get more, I'll let you guys know what I think on an individual basis. Those will probably go up on the Facebook page because I know you guys don't want 11 billion over caffeinated videos. <laughs> you guys don't want me peeling me off the ceiling every single time I do a coffee review. So check out the company. Know that when you are purchasing from them, not only are you supporting their business, but you're supporting the community in which they live and operate, which is vitally important to me. So their links are in the description box down below. Make sure that you go check them out. Order yourself coffee. I cannot say that loud enough or forcefully enough for all of you. Order yourself some coffee. You deserve the treat of getting yourself coffee from Redbeard's Coffee Roaster. So you can have a damn good cup of coffee to get your day started right or just to make a bad day better. And other than that, darlings, I'm going to go drink more coffee so I can literally be peeled off the ceiling here in a little while. Bye, darlings. I will catch you on the next review.